Hey, how's it going guys? It's the Mercenary. Welcome back to a brand new video on Crash Bandicoot. I uh, hope you guys are having an awesome mid part of your week, and it kind of feels weird saying this again, but uh, I'm sort of back, but not entirely. But uh, we're going to start a new game here, because, uh, well, I'm kind of done giving updates. I'm just going to kind of be, uh, I'm going to talk some real talk with you guys. Yeah, so this means no pre-recorded gameplay. I'm actually playing this live right now as I'm talking to you, so I'm just going to tell you what's been going on, and... Uh, Sort of put into perspective what I can about <laughs> what uh, I'm going to be doing. So as I told you guys, I did buy Crash Bandicoot. It's been a while since I've had it now, but I've been doing a live stream on this on uh, Twitch. I uh, don't know if I'm going to do it as a let's play considering how fast um, I can get through these uh, levels and stuff. But I also figured out the little secrets to uh, getting all the gems and stuff that I struggled with on the classic uh, run that I did for uh, Crash Bandicoot. But... Uh, I also hope that the uh, copyright system doesn't hit me hard for this. I know that a few people who uh, kind of show you how to do the how-to type of videos have uh, got hidden hearts, so I may have to uh, work my magic a little bit here. So yeah, I hope you guys are uh, doing alright. Oh, uh, sorry for my uh, content on my channel not being as promising as I kind of said in the last few videos, but uh, I'm done trying to brainstorming ideas on videos I want to do, so... I'm just going to kind of leave it at the point where if I do have a video in mind, I will do it. But if not, then um, then I will uh, just kind of do it instead of saying something and it not happening. So it's like kind of guaranteeing a, uh, a false deal and not having anything to show for it. So therefore, I'm just going to uh, do it all by action. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the content which are kind of going on the uh, channel so far. I mean, there's a lot of videos to watch in the meantime, but I know new content is always necessary if I want to keep the audience interested, which can be a problem sometimes, depending on the creator and his thoughts and his ideas. As for mine, well, <laughs> it hasn't been an easy road to go down, mind you, but uh, yeah, so there's my first diamond. Oh yeah. So as I carry on with more of the rambling aspect of this video, uh, the deal with work still goes and it's going to be going until at least o or, uh, October, so I still got a while to go. Uh, but at the same time, I'm always collecting new gear, new tech and everything, so maybe down the road I can bring something slightly new, but again, I'm not going to try and guarantee something and like deliver no nothing at the same time, so I will just bring whatever I can whenever I feel the time is right, and uh, yeah, so as of right now, I'm on a search of a new capture device, which in case you guys haven't noticed, um, I record on two different devices still, which is the um, Hopodge HD PVR2 Gaming Edition, which is like from 2012, and the Avermedia Capture HD, which unfortunately, as I found out as of late, that uh, it outputs at only 1080p 30, and downscales to, or not downscales, sorry, it, um, uh, can record 720p 60, but in my editing program, I, I upscale the uh, rendering to 1080p 60 to make it more like next gen ish because the screen resolution on Xbox One and PS4 allows me to output at 1080p 60, so or 1080p resolution, I should say. So uh, that's kind of like the uh, feature I take advantage of in whatever way, and to make up for the extra quality desaturation, I kind of have to add like a light uh, sharpen effect, so this is kind of like me explaining to you guys the magic of what I do behind editing and stuff, but still it looks good nonetheless, I think. Um, as far as for content wise, it's still been on the DL, um, as goes for something like uh, Call of Duty and Fortnite. Uh, we both know that my channel is not really centered or even focused on that, on that portion at all. And for good reasons, personally, and for the audience itself, that uh, anyone who plays Call of Duty and doesn't do great is going to lose their minds. Now, let me first off say, uh, start saying off that I don't completely like. I'm I'm not rage free when I play Call of Duty. Everyone rages at Call of Duty, but I just don't like presenting that kind of attitude on my on the platform, which I'm trying to do videos for, and also. I just don't uh, like doing that on stream either because I'm on the platform to have fun and to kind of like show nothing less of what I'm doing. So I'm actually surprised at how well I'm freaking doing while it's calm. Okay, I'm never this good. What the hell? But yeah, so uh, as you can tell, my channel is not centered or focused on Call of Duty or Fortnite, which I know is the 
the hottest content on the freaking digital market list right now. But I've never fancied me um, battle royale games in any shape or form. Uh, that's all been like so uh, sort of uh, lack of originality on other games because the idea is what uh, gets the uh, revenue flowing. But uh, I'm not all about that. So as you can tell, I'm true to what I love to do. My channel is based upon what uh, gaming meant to me back in my childhood and uh, all that good stuff. So, And that's everything about gaming I'd like to enjoy is what it meant to me back in my childhood. Now, most of my content has been actually from the retro games, which kind of, uh, I'm kind of going backwards instead of forwards, but uh, then again, the content which I actually deliver, uh, whether some people may be surprised or not, but uh, the quality of my channel and the videos that I put out is actually welcomed by the HD component cable that I got from, uh, I think it was Amazon or was it eBay? Either way, the, the cord is exclusive to online now, you can't buy it locally, I'll be surprised if one can find this one locally, but it's an AV component cable for the Xbox original, and the uh, one that they used to sell at GameStop, which is the um, Xbox uh, 360, uh, Nintendo Wii, and the PlayStation connector with uh, HD component and uh, composite uh, cords and stuff. Now, here's another secret to you guys, which you may not know, but uh, of how I'm doing so well in this game is actually accompanied by how I got my hand on the, uh, the controller itself. And surprisingly, I upgraded my PS4 controller to uh, the Collective Minds uh, mod uh, FPS pack, which uh, kind of basically turns into a scuff controller, but at the price of like $50 our currency. So it might be cheaper in your guys' case, but. Uh, the mod kit that I've got on my PS4 controller allows for like all kinds of weird modifications like that includes uh, doing jitter mods on Call of Duty, rapid fire, uh, decreasing recoil and stuff, but being how sophisticated it is, I'd rather just keep my thing in tournament mode which allows for uh, any time button remapping which is actually the two top squares that are actually located on the top of the uh, pack itself and I can button remap any thing that I would find normally too handicapped for me to press at the same time so therefore uh, being that the uh, trackpad on the PlayStation 4 controller uh, is like the back button of um, or the select button on the Xbox One controller I had that set up to one of my paddles because I noticed that uh, when I'm trying to view the scoreboard I'm always pushing my share button instead of the uh, Xbox tra uh, traditional way so I've got one of my, ma uh, my paddles set up for that Ooh, nice perfect Yeah, surprisingly, the secret to how I play is actually not really a secret at all. It's actually so natural that it doesn't even require a uh, scuff controller to play. How I play is uh, claw configuration, and how it allows me to play this game so well is I've got my index finger on the square button while my thumb sits on the X button, which is the uh, jump button. And it allows me to do a lot of things that you just see me do here, like, for example, kick that fish out of the uh, water there. And it's completely natural. The only thing it costs is the uh, ability to adapt and uh, it'll feel weird a little bit, but being that I've actually had my fair share of practice, uh, it feels like basically uh, super natural. Like it, it feels natural, like I, as if I've been doing it the whole time. But uh, yeah, it's very natural. It's very useful in how to play it. And it actually saves one who would spend two or three hundred dollars on a scuff controller all that money and to better investing into something else that's worth more worth it. So yeah, it's completely natural. I love it. And uh, I've continued playing like it since, and I can swap back to normal play and like uh, claw configuration as if I knew claw natively without ever practicing. And I'll tell you this much it's been a huge jump in how I play uh, based upon experience. So, if you guys uh, are curious about that, that's exactly how I play. So, my recommendation is you guys. Uh, or to you guys is um, learn how to play claw. It's uh, it is the way to go. <laughs> I mean, obviously actions prove here of how well I'm doing, right? <laughs> so yeah, as we continue heading upstream, um, as of right now for content, they're getting back on the topic of content. Um, that's kind of. Uh, an empty idea being made into what it is right now. 
So, uh, for right now, I'm focused on my Twitch career. If you guys are curious, uh, all the links will be down and provided in the description. But I feel like this is where I'll end it because I feel like I've gone through a lot of levels, with, levels without realizing it. So if you guys did enjoy today's content, be sure to leave a like or a dislike whichever field today's video deserved and get yourself subscribed with the bell icon so you won't miss out on any future uploads.